Well, I guess it's time to celebrate. Cheers, guys. But on a serious note, guys, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. Um, when I started on YouTube over nine years ago, it was a milestone that I could only dream of, to be honest. I mean, you know, I mean, obviously back then, you would rarely see a YouTuber with like 100,000 subscribers, let alone like a million that you have. So many people have got that now. Uh, but for me, 500 has been a, a milestone I've wanted for a while. Um, you know, and I'm so happy that you guys enjoy the content I do. Uh, you know, just sort of like a short, fat, 23-year-old English man playing games every day. So, I'm very happy you guys enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, more content's gonna be coming soon. But from the bottom of my heart, that's too cheesy. But anyway, thank you very much, guys, for 500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. So, yeah, now it's time for your video. Instead of looking at this mug. Enjoy! Well, welcome, folks, to my 500 subscriber special video. And as you can tell from the title, if you haven't seen the title yet, it's a classic for the GameCube. Welcome to Metroid Prime. So, I've known about this game for years, and in fact, a friend um, of mine came around a fair few times, long time ago, uh, to play this game a lot, and I really enjoyed watching, and I always wanted to play it and stuff, so I finally own the game now. Um, I bought like three games recently, and uh, one of them was uh, sort of like one of the more recent ones. Well, not one of the more recent ones. Uh, yeah, so one of them was this. Don't know what my mind was on there, but never mind. So, yeah. Um, so here's my current save file. I'm gonna, gonna just start a new game to show off. The first... I'm not sure if it'd be first level as such, but I'm gonna show it anyway. So, let's go. Also, that killer soundtrack. That soundtrack is awesome, by the way. Very iconic, I think. It works so well for a Metroid game. An identified stress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. Indeed. And the universe is apparently imploding on itself because of the amount of stars that are in the sky. Good to know, I guess. The cosmos. And there are asteroids! The history of humanity. Oh no! Don't go into our planet! Don't go into the- No! Stop it! Get those asteroids away! No, there's more of them now! I love when the space station's just like, Ugh, we don't give a damn about that. Asteroids, pfft, <laughs> nothing to us. Nothing whatsoever. So, we are playing as Samus. Samus Aran, a sort of bounty hunter woman. I think I like, saw like the first sort of mainstream female hero, I'd say. And Samus is badass, by the way, so yeah. Uh, she's obviously also made appearance in the Smash Brothers games as well. Um, if you've never played a Metroid game, this is her game. So, yeah, this is actually the first Metroid game I own. Um, but, to be honest, it's good to kick off with a game like this. And there is Samus! We are here to kick ass and blow stuff up. And I'm all out of ass. <clears throat> so let's go. I do like the music in this game. There's not much music. Um, at least from what I've seen. But, um, because mostly it's just sort of like, you don't hear any music. It sort of shows sort of like the whole idea of this game being sort of kind of claustrophobic, if anything. Brings along cla claustrophobia. So, anyway, press L to hold on to targets. And then press the A button to shoot your arm cannon. Wait, best get the name right. Power beam. There we go. So your power beam. And that has deactivated the force field. The next set of force fields are offline. Scan the center pillar to activate them. Okay. So we can press the uh, D-pad to the left to get our scanner. Our scanning visor. And then press the L button to scan. Force field activation switches are now online. Good. 
So this is so, this this is. Um, I'm gonna say a, an FPS. It's a first-person shooter, technically. What well, most of it is, I'd say. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of first-person shooters, to be honest. But with a game as iconic as Metroid, you know, you you can't not play this. By the way, uh, if you press the R button. You can move your cannon around to hit higher targets. Anyway, that is gone now. The force field's gone. The B button to jump. And you can't actually fall off here, which I think is very, very nice of them. Because most games like this, it's like, oh, you make one mistake. Yeah, you're buggered. Anyway, you can use the beam to open doors. And now we're in the area itself. So. Yeah, Samus is so bad, she shoots doors. Let's scan that. Why not? Airlock repressurization successful. Nice. Where does this lead to? Entrance to Deck Alpha Access Hall. Well, let's shoot it. Da shoot it. Da shoot it. There we go. And let's shoot this one. There we go. Okay. Ah, an enemy. We'll shoot it and kill it. Press and hold the L button to lock onto enemies. Okay, dokay. Oh, there's another enemy now. I'll shoot him. Nice. Okay. Also, there's your danger meter at the top there. Which, uh, pretty much shows you sort of like where you, uh, like if you're close to anything that could hurt you. So that's all good for us. Use your charge beam to destroy rubble. Okay. There we go. Use your charge beam by uh, holding down the A button. And then just fully charges. Oh joy. It's those guys. They're fine, to be honest. Um, I believe it's sort of like they're the, like the weakest of the enemies, but um, you know, they're really tough in like one in, in like a big group of them. Anyway, by the way, you also press the X button to go into your morph ball to get into little areas like this. Where I can download an entire map. Which is randomly put into my arm cannon, my power beam. I don't understand why, but never mind. We have downloaded a map of the area. Press the Z button to access the map. So as you can see, this first level is fairly extensive. And uh, we will be researching every room uh, in this uh, video, pretty much. So yes, Morph Ball pressing the X button. You can also use attacks with the Morph Ball as well by pressing the A button. Just use like a little attack. You not your, I was about to say your screw attack. It's not the screw attack option. Never mind. All right. There we go. So, let's scan this. Access to deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. There is thy hologram. So we just step into it and we can move. Good thing Sam's got awesome hacking skills. If Sam's hacking skills are terrible, she'd be stuck here forever. Scan that. Why not? Where are we going now? To deck beta conduit hall. Conduit? I've never seen. I've never seen that before. Never mind. Okay. Warning now, because there's electricity. Use morph ball to get through small areas. Okay. There we go. Do you need to get a bit of speed to get out the morph ball? Yeah. I think you do. Right. I believe there are enemies around here. Yes, there are. Joe, I'm going to scan you. Scanned. So, space pirate status. Severe internal damage detected. Well, that's very good for me. He's also dead now. Which is also very good for me. Fire missiles pressing Y. Oh, we're going to need to do that. Oh! Got it! There we go. So, yeah. There's those. Also, you can use the power beam to force stuff towards you. Like items and pickups and stuff. Which is obviously all very nice. And, yep. There you go. Use the scan visor to gather data in the area. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Infusion analysis 12.5. Phasen batch 0003.h increases the acid production in the saliva duct of the parasite lava. Great, good to know that is. Right. 
Experiment 435.8. Buy a form pain tolerance levels at 13% and holding. Well, they seem to be conducting experiments, apparently. Elevator operational. Nice. So they seem to be, from the look of it, biohazard waste removal may begin in three hours. Okay. It seems like they're making experiments down here. Which is obviously really creepy, but uh, never mind. Moving. Die you. Right, so we have ourselves some lovely uh, health upgrades, which you can get by killing space pirates and stuff, which are these purple things, and that increases your energy. My energy at the moment is on 80. Whoa, it's going down a lot actually. That's not good. Do you mind, you horrible space pirate bastard? Yeah, so we're on 55 right now. That is uh, not good, obviously. Oh, killing you too. Just get some more. Right, not the best of starts, to be perfectly honest. Open the door. Oh, bugger you. I, I, I did not want to go in that more fall there. Missile! Yes. I will take my missile back, thank you. Alright. So, we're going to need to scan something here, I believe. Yep. Access to deck gamma approved. Nice. Oh, the hologram's over here, isn't it? Yes, it is. And we're moving downwards! So as you can see from our map, we've uh, taken out a fair amount of the level already. So we're in the cargo freight lift at the moment, down to deck gamma. Which is uh, going to be interesting while we get down there. There is, a re there is a restore point, which is good, where we can get uh, our health and our energy back. Oh, hello, space pirate knob. Do not like you very much. I will take my health back. I will scan this, and door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere into open door. Well, isn't it convenient that Samus can morph into a morph ball? What did the space pirates actually use to, you know, get this? I'm starting to wonder that. I don't know. Anyway, let's get moving quickly. Missile away. Missiles, you're dead now. Screw you. Alright, charge beam can be used to draw pickups. Nice. There we go. And now we our missiles are at full. Right, so if we go into here, there's actually a restore point, which I will save my progress. Wow, saving's actually fairly quick in this game. I know this game is, it came out like over 10 years ago, but still, that is a quick save. Nicely played. Alright, so... We scan again, just so we enable the door lock pretty much. You have to scan a lot of stuff in this game. So uh, if we can keep moving, we'll be good. Right. Oh, okay. Yep, here we go. I believe well, there's a cutscene. That means there's something very important. It would be terrible if something bad would happen. You know, it would be really terrible if, like, for example, I don't know, a giant parasite queen was in there. Oh, oh, look, a giant parasite queen is in there. Who would have thunk it? So this is technically our first boss, and it's a fairly easy boss, to be honest. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scan it. Because why not? I'm in battle, but I want to scan it. Scanning! A new creature entry has been downloaded into your logbook. Morphology. Parasite queen. Parasite female. Genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen. Origins unknown. The creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Well, we gotta stop that by shooting it. So pretty much, uh, with the Parasite Queen, uh, you shoot it, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, now, yeah, it does have a force field, as you can see, also like barriers and stuff, but lovely for the Space Pirates to give you a chance to at least, you know, sort of be able to use it up. Oh, I got hit there. That sucks. In fact, I'm gonna miss. 
Oh, I got hit again. That's fine. To be honest, if you dodge most of the blasts... See, I'm, I'm, I'm taking like two damage. I have, I have 92 left. I got more than enough left. So we need to block... There we go. Get into the bit where the force field's not there. And fire. Pretty much shoot like mad. On him. There's no point using like missiles and stuff. This will do just fine. Got him. Or got her, technically. It's a parasite queen, so technically it's a her. Anyway. So, we have defeated the parasite queen. Very nice of the game to give us a very easy first boss. Oh, I'm sure the bosses get tougher later on. But for the moment, yay. Right. Now, reactor core critical. Evacuate immediately. We need to get moving. Because we have, I believe, seven minutes to get out. Or we die imminent, instantly. We lose. So we need to get out of it quickly. Right, so. We just need to find a way out now. So, as you can see, there's still a fair amount we need to go through. But can we do it in seven minutes? These bleeding lifts, I'll tell ya. Right, let's get moving. Oh, buggy you. Right. right. Let's get moving quickly. Oh god, and he blew up. Mate. Oh, I'll take that health. Why not? Right, let's get moving quickly. Go, 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 go. Oh, bugger. Bugger you, good sir. Die. These guys are terrible at trying to hit me. They really are. I mean, I know that guy just hit me, but still, you're terrible at this. Oh. Right, we're going to need to go through here. Right. Come on, Samus. You can do this. I think Morph Ball's your best bet down here. Yeah. Especially those guys, because those guys will pretty much obstruct your vision, and you don't want that. I'll take a bit of damage just to go through. You know, a little bit of damage is nothing, especially at this point now. You just need to get through as quick as possible, try not to make any mistakes. So. Going through now. Luckily, we're going very quickly, so, uh... We're taking out a fair, um, a fair chunk, to be honest, of the level. So, we've now got, like... Okay, we've still got a fair amount left. But we've got five minutes to do it in. So, we've got more than enough time now. Now, last time I did this, I actually had a failed recording where I just barely died. I missed out by, like, two seconds was how long it was. Two seconds it was. It was a nightmare. You know what? I'm, I'm going to take these. And fire. Go, Samus. Hurry up. Back to your morph ball. Because you're, because especially downhill, you're quicker with the morph ball. I believe, at least. Go. Go, Samus. Go, Samus. Go, Samus. Go. Quickly, hurry up. Climb. Climb, Samus. Climb. We don't want you to die. We want to complete the first level. Oh, it's this bit. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so what we need to do is just need to follow this until there's an entrance. And then we go through the entrance. Alright, Samus. You're nearly home. Just fire and go through. Quickly. There we go. Alright. We're not done, by the way. No, we still got a bit we still got a ways to go. It's Ridley! Specifically, I think it's Meta Ridley, actually, so, yeah. But hello, Ridley. Nice to see ya. Yes. He's like, oh, God! Problems are happening. Malfunctioning. Everything's gonna die. I'm out of it. I'm getting out of it. See ya. Alright. Now it's time to use our charge beam. Charge beam to get over. There we go. Okay. Looking good right now. I think, actually, we're gonna make it with loads of time to spare. Scan this while we're here. Parameter defense turret disabled. Good. Good. I'm very glad about that. Scan this as well. Access to deck alpha approved. Please step into the hologram. Okay. Oh, everything's blown up. Okay. 
Oh! Ouch! Damn it! Oh god, and that took out everything, didn't it? Suit malfunction, morph ball malfunction, missile malfunction, charge beam malfunction. Oh god, grapple beam malfunction. We've lost everything. We haven't got a gun anymore. Oh no, we do have a gun. We have a gun and a scan visor. That's all we've got left. Ugh. You kidding me? We can't even charge beam. Ugh. That is uh, not good for us, really, is it? Right, come on, Samus. We need to get moving. Come on. Room is depressurizing. We'll hurry the bloody hell up then. Entrance to main docking bay. Yep, we're here. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. let me through. Let me, let me through! You horrible git. Okay. Just need to keep going. We're nearly there. We're nearly home. We're nearly out of this horrible thing. There we go! And that, I'd say, would be technically the first level of the game. Uh, we have been able, we were able to escape. The problem is, so did him. Oh, I'm sure we'll be taking him on again at some point. Oh, I'm so sure. But we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt for Ridley. It's like, get over here, you bastard. Like, no, I don't want to. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is the first level of Metroid Prime. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed playing this game. Um, I know I'm not the biggest fan of shooters. Um, but as I said before, Metroid Prime is so iconic and this game is so good. That I thought I'd give it a go. And to be honest, to celebrate 500 subscribers on the channel, I wanted to do something different. Something I don't, like, I've never done on the channel. And I, I don't play shooters I don't think I've ever played a shooter on this game, on this channel, ever. Or a Metroid game. So I thought it would be something fun. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, once again, guys, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. Um, you guys are awesome. I, I know I keep saying it every time I do a subscribe milestone. Oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> but I really do mean it, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, thank you, by the way, to Serena Smith, who was my 500 subscriber. Just a bit of a shout out for that. So, um, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you for my next Let's Play tomorrow. Onside's finally finished. Yes! Finally! No more about Onside! Bugger that game! Hate it! Urgh. So I'll see you for my next Let's Play part tomorrow. A new LP! What's it gonna be? You can check out the... Uh, you can check out my channel about to see the next Let's Plays coming up. So, so you can get a bit of a heads up on games coming in the future. Anyway, I'm Mastraff, and I'll see you for my next video tomorrow. See you then, guys! <laughs>